All right, welcome back to Reseteer. Or Rec... Racketeer. Wherever you want to pronounce that. Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna go to the Adventurer's Guild. Do I have anything to give him? I can give him candy, but I'm not. Fuck you, Louie. First real dungeon of this game, the Jade Way. Um, completely different enemy tile set. I actually start talking about enemies now. The last time I spent the whole time talking about um just like the basic mechanics. So slimes are really basic, they don't really do anything. Um, different color slimes either have like more HP or move faster. Those guys, these are probably the worst um, to deal with if you're not Louie. Louie can kind of deal with them pretty well. But um, if your name is not Louie, you have some problems with those. If you're especially the thief character, the thief girl has a really hard time dealing with them because she's really, uh, she's got really short range. Louie's also got like a very forgiving range on his attacks. And that's the reason why he's a fucking broken character. He has like literally no downsides, except that he has a low um, mana. He has low mana. And he has low mana gains. That's like about it. Oh, actually, there is something. I, I did mention in the last episode that people people in this game will, like, the adventurers will come in and they'll buy upgrades. There's two things. One, outside of that, they can't actually get better items. They literally can't. They will never upgrade their gear, I don't think. The other thing is, is that um, characters have preferences towards accessories, mostly. They also have preferences towards like, what they can afford, obviously, but um, most of the time when a character actually initiates like trying to buy something from you, they can actually afford it. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but, for example, Louis, one of Louis' downside is that he really, really likes to buy fucking capes. Uh, not capes, mufflers, to be specific, because he's from the north, so he likes to buy scarves, basically. And unfortunately for him, scarves have really low, um, stats, I guess you could say. So, that is like one of Louis' downsides, other than the fact that he's poor and doesn't really buy expensive things, and if you make your store super gaudy, he actually never shows up anymore, because he it feels like the store's too expensive for him or something. The uh, other thing, though, is that if, like, say, for example, you have a hard time getting a certain custom, a certain adventurer into your store, you can, like, give them things, like... I can technically give, like, Louie all the best gear that he can't afford, and let him wear it. It does take up in inventory slots. So I wouldn't recommend it, unless you're really trying to power level a character you just got. But even that, I wouldn't really recommend it. What I would recommend is just not using the character in general, because most of the characters you get in this game, you get them way too late. Like, way, way too late. So, like, you get a character... You get a character for beating this dungeon, and then you get a character between this dungeon and the next one, and then you get a character for beating the next dungeon. Which takes a really long time, by the way. And by the time you get her, it's, like, way too late. You actually might... The nice thing is, though, is when you game over, you, uh... You do keep dungeon progress. So, e I think you do anyway. Or else it's just so easy to clear the dungeons that it doesn't matter anymore. But like, for example, there's gonna be some times where I might have to rerun certain levels of a dungeon and stuff like that because I just don't have the money. To, I don't have the I don't have the power to keep going. I need to get some levels or something. Or to be specific, certain dungeons won't show up or something. So yeah, there's that. It's not really that bad, though. I didn't notice the stupid snow rabbits there. 
Not only do they not belong here, because it's not fucking winter, but... Um, they jump away from your attacks. Unless you're basically against the wall or they're attacking you, they will almost always dodge at least the Louis attacks. Oh yeah, by the way, that's why those enemies are pain in the ass. Next floor. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, okay. That's another thing about these dungeons. Um, at least in the beginning, uh, they'll have a bunch of bonuses for you, like starting the map fully revealed. Um, or stuff like that. However, when you get to the late game, um, most of them are negatives, like enemies move at double speed and stuff like that. However, for this first dungeon, it's almost always a positive when that thing appears. And this one is half SP consumption. This means I can use my my one ability more frequently, as opposed to right now where I can't really use it. Well, that's the thing though; those rabbits won't jump away from special attacks. They'll only jump away from auto attacks. Gotta beat him up. There's not a whole lot else to say, really. Oh, can't care anymore. I believe that item is better than slime fluid, though, so... I'm pretty sure I know what that item is, but... And now, this is where this game gets kind of annoying when you're done and you're crawling. Oh, that's not very good. Clothes aren't worth very much, I don't think. Not positive on that though. Oh god damn it! My Steam messages, my Steam things are showing up on the corner. I didn't even notice. Most of the time, that doesn't actually happen. That's the reason why I'm not used to them actually showing up. On um, that's weird. Game, why are you so weird? I also hope no one else opens up this while I'm doing this. If I'm not mistaken. Clothes are only worth like a hundred. Ah, fuck it. Eat some walnut bread. We need another walnut bread. Walnut breads. All items in this game heal, like, healing items always heal a certain amount, so walnut bread will always heal like 10 or 15 or whatever it is. It's pretty simple. Mechanics in this game are very simple. I'm just really bad at explaining things. That's really what it comes down to. Oh man. I just realized that I should probably turn down. I wonder what that is. These no rock arenas. Um, hmm. Waste of walnut bread, but. I'm on floor th four out of five. You can hit those stupid snow bunnies if they're actually trying to attack you, though. Like that. I could really get rid of like three or four items, but sec trap is useless. Clothes are also useless. Yeah, there's only one more floor until boss. All the bosses have some sort of silly mechanic to them. Ooh, egg on toast. Personally, never had eggs on toast. I usually separate my eggs and toast. Oh, worn sword's only worth 200, eh? I thought it was worth more than that. Eggs on toast could be useful because it's a HP healing item. There's a difference. There's HP and empty healing items. And both. Oh. Alright. So the way this guy works is um, he gets smaller when he bounces around, summons slimes. If he lands on any of those slimes, he gets bigger. I 
again. I should stop, like, being dumb. He's got a slime since he's way off from the boss. He jumps, like, a certain distance, too. We did it. We're not going to keep going. That's it. No more going forward. We're going to go to the shop. I like how... Oh, man. She says that, but there's no actual time management on her part. She doesn't do jack shit. She just tells you that there is times of the day. Slice of time, like a pie. God damn it. Act between morning and night. You can either open the store up or do something else. Unfortunately, Tyr can't just run the shop for you. Basically, when you do running around in the town, it consumes only one slice of time for every single movement in the town, is what she's trying to tell you. Yes, it takes fucking forever. It took us 10 minutes to do that one part. Then again, this tutorial took like 3 minutes, which means I should also use up a slice of time. Don't worry, I understand it slightly. Basically, it's worth noting you can adventure twice in one day and then return and not do anything else. That's all you really need to know. Alright, I think I got much better haul the last time. I fucking did. I feel like I got cheap skated out. Oh, better put the necklace there. Hat. Worn sword. God damn it, I got a bunch of fur balls and stuff. Completely useless. Alright. That's adequate. Bye, things! Oh no. Basically, ideally, you don't want them to do that. It breaks your merchant chain. So, I guess the old man, I should set it to 115, just base, so that I don't have to worry about ever re dealing with that. He's been looking for- oh man, I'm so sorry. 115 to 120 is a good area for him, I guess. Oh god damn it, I hate you so much. Yeah, see, that was a near pin, which means that she's expecting it to be really fucking cheap. Yeah, that's that one. I've made... I've made the, uh... the money. Holy shit. I did it, guys. I did it. We're no longer gonna have to worry about the first time. Alright. Oh yeah, Adventure Guild is closed on certain days. Which means today, is, I should have like, went and ventured again. Ooh. Buy one of those. Buy expensive things and sell them, I guess. That's what today's gonna be. Waste all of my money. Oh god. Yes. Came from a finance company. What's it like? This is a perfect discussion to have in the chapel. 
man. <laughs> it's like, oh wow, you just seem like you'd work there. Holy shit. I like how she's kind of cut her off. Hmm, quite. Not actually that, not like that amazing actually. Man, that's right. Man, that was a really short amount of dialogue. I don't feel like going on the market. We don't need to. I might attract that little girl. I don't want to do that. Actually, I should put up armor. Alright, let's go with that. Nice because I'd like to sell the armor to Louie, if you're wonder if you guys are wondering what I'm trying to do here. It might be out of his range, and also someone else is probably gonna buy it. Oh wow. I'm surprised. He can afford that. And come on, Louie. What are you buying? Oh my god, you can't even use bows, Louie. What the fuck, dude? I leveled up, guys. Oh god, is this the you can take work orders now? Oh, it's this. Oh no, I hate this part. This is effectively, um, make sure you have everything. It doesn't matter how good it is, so make sure you have everything. Because you might have some asshole walk in and be like, Hey, do you got this extremely vague thing? It's like, ah, uh, no. Well, I just broke your merchant combo, bro. I know you had it at like 120 experience per thing, but I really needed that, uh, that one item. It's like, fuck you, man. I hate you so much. She's telling, telling us um, what I told you guys in the last dungeon, that they will equip shit they can use. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll keep track of it. Affirmications. Gonna make me do this like six times, I'm pretty sure. And then she wants to uh, like that. One more. Good job, you've sold an imaginary sword. Also, wow, I didn't realize I've made back most of that money already. The problem I think is is um, doing a full merchant in this game has a problem that uh, full merchant isn't a good idea because if you go full merchant, you can't really you don't start off with enough money to go full merchant. I think. And who do we get? He likes. Oh my god, dude! It's on the shelves. Come on, man! Jesus Christ! You have an orange. Wow, I didn't know you had these. It's on the fucking shelf. You motherfucker. Like, I'm really looking for something for dinner. Here's an orange. I'd say, wow, you're looking for a magician staff, but he's probably looking for a walking stick. A very expensive walking stick for magic casting. Come on, Louis, buy the armor. Really like a weapon. Do I have a... Oh, I have a weapon. You have this problem, though? Is when you're selling people shit, you have to make sure they can afford it. See, there you go. I mentioned that, and then it fucking happens. God damn it, Louis, that's another weapon you can't use. Also, just selling shit to people eventually gets up their money, too. It's like, well, it's really based on the merchant level and how many times they buy shit from you. 
Uh, I don't want to piss off that one guy, because that guy is actually pretty good at... Oh, I know that's, I know who that's going to attract. Actually, it's too late for her, I'm pretty sure. Get you some food. One second, I got something. I got a chocolate bar. Here you go, buddy. Have a chocolate bar. Your wife asked for some food. Piss her off with a chocolate bar. Uh, it's half the fun of this game is when someone walks in and asking for something retarded like that. Louis, you can't use that either. What are you doing with your life, man? Oh well, he probably can't. He probably can't afford that armor I have on the shelf there. Everybody and their weapons. You're all a bunch of fucking mongrels. Oh well, what can you do? I don't think that really gets me much. Alright, now we can go to the dungeon, because it's not fucking Sunday. Do I have anything good for him? No, I don't. What a... wow. Alright. This is a still a forest, by the way. So now I should be able to see all the insect traps and fur balls and crap like that. That's like fucking complete garbage. It's like 800 there. That's a pretty good first item. For this dungeon, anyway. I'm not saying it's a good item in general. Oh, please, no. Powerful anti-venoms are a good item just to kind of have, because they're a good filler item. They're like, they're better than like the complete garbage you find usually. Like, oh god damn it. It's better than finding like, I don't know, insect traps and stuff and chestnuts. I'm tempted not to pick it up, but just in case I don't find 20 items somehow, I'd prefer to just pick up everything and then finish it up. Got him, coach. Those are annoying enemies. Most of the time it's better just to ignore those. They don't drop anything in particular that's, like, that valuable. Oh yeah, you have to pay adventurers. It's usually some, like, arbitrarily small amount of money. But it is worth noting that you do have to pay them. I had to pay Louis, what, like a thousand dollars there? You, you tend to lose a bit of money. You always gotta make sure that, like, you get out of the dungeon with at least something valuable. However, Louis is the only dude who will, um... If you don't have enough money, remember you can't hire them, but Louis will actually adventure with you for free, effectively, if you have zero dollars. Although, if you have zero dollars in this game, you are so fucked. I wonder why I'm, like, I, I stick around for killing bees. Um, bees have a chance of dropping... They have two items on the drop table. One of them is fucking worthless, and the other one's worth, like, $2,000. Oh my god. It's not actually worth 2,000. I think it's like 1,500, but it's still a good item to have. Also, I believe it's a mana healing item too, so it's always useful to have those. You don't use them great. You do use them, but that's unfortunate, but they usually won't get you out of a pinch. Like the really expensive ones. Uh, okay, got it. I did it. The uh, the problem, the Louis problem is, is that you you play as Louis for so long. Like this dungeon's twenty floors, I think. So you play with him for so long. Actually, I think it's only fifteen. But you play with him for so long, and you kind of get used to his playstyle. And then the second character you get is different enough that it's weird. Weird in a bad way. Also, I got a second ability. It's fucking garbage. Don't need to use it. Actually, it's, it's sort of useful, but not that useful. 
not getting very good items right now. This is how you can kind of get fucked over in this game really hard, is, uh, just, don't, like, they don't give you anything. Like, you just get a bunch of that. You can't do anything with that. Like, you can try, but you'll lose. Now, there's multiple arguments to be had. One of them is, hey, you could just sit there and farm and get good things. And that's true. That is very true. You could do that. Um, there's, but there's only a certain amount you can farm in a place before you start encountering the fuck you patrol that is like, hey, you've spent too much time here. Oh, candy apples are good. Mana healing item, so they're not good for Louis, because Louis doesn't really need to use his SP ability that much. It makes things quicker, but it doesn't make things easier. Also, if you didn't figure it out yet, um, this game will slowly wear you down. I think I mentioned in the first episode, most of the time it's death of a thousand cuts, which is... Which is to say, um, you aren't going to get instantly gimped. You're just gonna get knocked down by like five, two to five HP until you fall over. I swear to God, if I keep fighting water mushrooms, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. If those happen to be all water mushrooms, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Because water mushrooms are no better than like slime stuff. Like. You really, really 500 is where you start getting the base value of 550, because you can sell those for like 700, and that's at least something. I thought I killed that slime. So I kind of want to end this this dungeon crawl at like probably like level 12 or something. Yeah, something around that. That sounds about right. A level that'd be all right. I have two floors. Well, technically just one more after this one, because the next floor is the boss floor. Usually it's boss floors, however, in other dungeons, there's literally just a floor where you'll just have to fight a bunch of shit that runs at you. I'm not playing very careful right now. I can kind of tell by the fact that I'm just kind of getting the shit beat out of me mostly. No. Okay, there we go. I know you're worried. Don't be. Good thing I could do that. Ooh, that's a good coat. So, actually, I don't think it is. I think the raincoat's better. Also... The other one. Let's see. Let's, we can check, because we have that power. Raincoat, 300. Oh, yeah, definitely this one's better. We did it. You kind of want to be at the point where you're kind of one-shotting things, but the problem is, is if you spend too long in places, it actually gets harder to advance, as odd as that sounds. So, instead of eating items right now, I'm effectively just basically getting off on level ups because of the fact that level ups give you earlier HP and MP back. And when you get to really high level, unfortunately, you can't really rely on that. It becomes like this nice thing of like, oh man, I leveled up finally. As opposed to right now where it's like, man, I needed that level up. Basically, the game's baby, the ba game babies you at the very beginning. And then expects you to actually, you know, pull up your socks a bit near the end. However, if you just use Louie, it's like having a crutch the entire game. A very easy crutch. I could try using, like, one of the other characters. I could use the Spear Lady and then pretend I'm lost all the time. That'd be pretty good. That character is pretty good. I like that character. But I've never really used her, but she is a funny character. Uh, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna eat some walnut bread. I know we have some. Candy apples are good. I'm pretty sure I have some 
So this is how this game kind of works. You fill up your inventory with garbage, and then you eventually replace that garbage with more expensive garbage. Until you win. Man, I always feel bad when I waste a critical swing on a box. Pretty sure those ingredients are fucking mushrooms. I'm like almost positive. Yeah, I'm just getting kind of fucked on this right now. Video game, please. I have a feeling they're all water mushrooms too. I just have a fucking feeling. Very sad feeling right now. But that being said, I am getting rid of stuff. Well, until now. That's worth Oh god, don't talk- don't say multiple statements at once. Alright. Oh, there's one more spot to explore. I don't actually know if that's gonna have anything there, but... I don't even know what that is, but it can't be that much worse than a chestnut. Chestnuts are 200. Like I said, 500 is about the point right now, where we're at right now, where it's a good item. 500 to about 1500 is good. We don't want anything more than that, because if you get more than that, you can't sell it. As you see by that spear I bought, the guy couldn't afford it. However, the thing is, is that a customer, when they walk up to you and they're like, Hey, I want this, they will always have enough money for it. If a customer asks you for something, they will have a very set budget. This is a reoccurring boss. For the people who may be wondering, how do you fight this boss? I do no damage. Well, it's pretty simple. Kill red mushrooms, he will eat- He eventually just turns over and eats, um... He'll eventually just run over and eat a mushroom. And that's it. If he eats a purple mushroom, he gets hurt. I believe if he eats a red mushroom, he gets hurt. So what you want to do is just clear out all the purple mushrooms. Do I have any... I don't have anything to eat, really. I want to pick up that candy apple. Oh no, Louie, get a hold of yourself, man. I think it's like four is the cap on spawn mushrooms on this thing too, so... I don't even know why he eats mushrooms, either. He doesn't need to. Get wrecked. That's what you get for eating poisonous mushrooms, dude. Oh god. Alright, do I have anything cheap? Like, really cheap, like 200 or less. I do! Scrap plate, get out of here. We came back alive, guys. Don't worry. I, I'm not dead. Oh, damn it, I had some slime fluid. Or maybe that got identified. We're opening this door for one thing before we leave. Before I let you guys go. Yeah, I gotta, definitely did not get a good haul that time. Come on. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking near pin at 110%. Fuck you, mate. Oh man, that's an upgrade. Holy shit, Louie. You can just have that for base price. There you go, Louie. I'm a nice guy. You know what? Sure, why not? Since you asked, you can have it. Louie's not buying it anytime soon. A little bit less? Sure thing, buddy. How about 114? That's way more than I bought it for, I'm pretty sure. I think I made like literally $900 off that. That's good. That's acceptable. Oh wait, I have candy apples I can just put up here. 
This is an expensive store, no little girls allowed. Also, it's a store for adults, where we have a bunch of anti-venoms, because we're assumed everyone's poisoned. <laughs> he doesn't keep this old shield, but alright buddy, here you go. That's hilarious. He doesn't keep his old shield. He had a shield to start with. Oh, sweet, dude. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you know what? I'll sell it to you for $2,000, I think. Uh, that's a little expensive. Let's go like that. Yeah. I think the second one's like 30000 so we're getting pretty close to that, too. Good, we didn't level up, which means we're not going to get the... I think the level 4 one is... Uh, the next level is the ordering talk, I'm pretty sure. And we don't want to trigger that. So, anyway. That's all for now. We're gonna... We're gonna go... We're gonna delete that. Anyway. I will see you guys next time.